The four are set. The women's final four standing. You have the undefeated Gamecocks. You've got three-seeded Wolfpack, the one-seeded Hawkeyes, the three-seed Huskies. Cardoso, James, Beckers, Clark. It all begins this Friday. And we now bring in CBS Sports Women's Hoops analyst Tarika Foster Brasby. Is the picture's clear now? Some we'd expected, others maybe not so much. But let's begin with the Hawkeyes getting their revenge on the Tigers from last year's national championship. Now, Tarika, we spoke pregame and we talked about the keys to Iowa's success, and that was giving Caitlin Clark some help, not completely relying on her alone, but. Whether it was by design or not, she dominated again, matching a career high, scoring 41 of Iowa's 94 points. How did yes. she get this done against a really, really good LSU team? Uh, she did the most phenomenal, uh, had the best performance, um, and she got her teammates involved. You're right, you know, Kiana, we talked about it pregame, that it was going to be so important for someone to step up and help her. And today, that was Kate Martin. Kate Martin came to her aid right when she needed it, gave her 21 points, the passes, the way that she was able to find her teammates in the best moments, got some great production from O'Grady off the bench defensively. And honestly, I don't even think that those were parking lot threes. Like, I, I think that she was in a whole nother building, right? It was just great. And of course, of course, she got some help from LSU only because they didn't do the best of job with their, you know, defensive assignments, and she took advantage of them. Kaitlyn Clark is absolutely what will help to continue to propel this team um, as it goes and moves on to the Final Four. But just getting those additional pieces of assistance from her teammates were really the difference in this game, and we love to see it. Oh, we definitely love to see it, and what I'm going <laughs> to love to see is Iowa taking on UConn. That's Clark and Beckers. Tariqa, I know it's early, but you got to give me your early preview of this matchup. These are two of the biggest stars in women's college hoops. So give me a preview. What should we look for in this matchup? Yeah, well, I think the one thing that you're going to continue to see is one, you're going to continue to see the University of Connecticut have to play defensively sound and have to lean on their core group because none of those injured players are going to be popping back up for the Final Four. So they're still going to have to rely on this Paige Becker's leg group um, to really continue to play disciplined, play defensively sound, and continue to get a lot of production out of Paige, out of Aaliyah Edwards, get some assistance from Ashlyn Shea, who did a great job as well at the guard position. That's going to be a lot of fun, but I don't know if they're going to have an answer for Caitlin Clark. Um, I didn't have either of these teams in my final four, so I get to make a fresh prediction here as to who I think could absolutely come out of this matchup, and I'm really feeling that this might be Iowa's time to make a, a move to head back to the final four. Um, as much as I feel like this team is defensively sound, I do believe that they are going to challenge UConn in the post. We didn't see a lot of Hannah Stalky today only because of the size matchup, but I believe that we'll see more of her in the final four. And it'll be interesting to see how much pressure she's going to be able to put on Aaliyah Edwards. So that's a matchup that I think I would be looking out for. Um, but I'm feeling really good about Caitlin Clark's chances now that they're facing UConn. Oh, uh, wait, I just heard you say that this might be Iowa's time. Did we get an early pick out of you? I think you might have. Okay, okay. all right. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you about something a little later, but before I get to that, let's sure. talk about the other matchup. Because on the other side, South Carolina absolutely perfect with their season and now rolling into the Final Four, 36-0. Their fourth season in a row heading there. Even after losing five of their starters and key reserves, this team has played absolutely great ball, but they have been here before. They've been at this moment. Last year, they were undefeated, went 36-0 before falling in the Final Four to Iowa. But is there anything about this team this year that gives you confidence this time around that they can advance to their first championship since that 2022 season, which also came against another standing team, UConn? 
Yes, uh, there is. There's a lot of things that give me uh, some great expectations about this South Carolina team. Number one of them just declared for the WNBA draft today, and that's Camilla Cardoso. So she's absolutely someone that gives me a lot of hope. I've seen her growth um, over this season, and it's just been so incredible to watch. But she has really grown as a player, and you can tell that she's grown as a person, but that's because of the leadership of Dawn Staley. I also love the way that she's been able, Dawn, I mean, I love the way that she's been able um, to mix up this rotation a bit. And by that, I mean, players like Tahina Pow Pow, players like Malaysia Fowali. I mean, this freshman class is different, and she was certainly one of the ones who made a large difference for this South Carolina team as it relates to replacing players that was lost. You have no idea how she's able to attack you because she's that spectacular. And I love the way that that uh, really plays to the strengths of South Carolina. It's helped to make them one of the best offensive teams in the country. So I love seeing them score. They do give me cause to pause defensively sometimes because sometimes they slip on assignments and that gives other teams opportunities to slide in. You're facing a team like NC State. That's a team that will take advantage of the opportunities to slide in on, on any type of defensive breakdown or miscommunication. Isaiah James is someone who is absolutely going to try to take advantage of it in early. She was the NC State junior who dropped 21 points in the first half in that matchup against Texas. So I think it's going to be interesting how South Carolina responds, but they need to just maintain a complete game. I think with them playing a complete game, they have a great chance um, as it relates to their opponent in the final four. All right. Well, you you gave me a preview, a little bit of that matchup, and now I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you on the line now. You told me that you were liking Iowa coming out of this matchup between UConn, but let's look at this next game. You talk about NC State. You talk about South Carolina. Yes. Who do you have? I'm just gonna skip for this one. I want to know who do you have winning it all. Oh. Okay. So. This is going to be fun. Um, I, I've picked South Carolina the entire season. I've continued to stand by South Carolina the entire tournament. Um, I really think that this, this matchup against NC State might be one of their closest. Um, and I do feel very confident with Iowa now having to see UConn. I think I'm still going to stick with South Carolina, though. Okay, so we're rolling with South Carolina getting back to glory, continuing their perfection as they've had this season and capping off this yeah. perfect season with another title in tow. Tariko Clark, James Cardoso, Beckers, a lot of star power and a lot of fun stuff that we're going to be watching here yes. in the upcoming week, but only one will be left standing. We can't wait to watch. Thanks so much for the time. Thanks, Gannon. And here's a look at the odds to win the national championship. Now that we have four left standing, South Carolina favored at minus 200 to win it all. They're followed by the Hawkeyes at plus 310. UConn plus 700, and then NC State, the three seed, rounding things off at plus 1200. Action starts Friday. You have both NC State and UConn men's and women's both in the tournament. It's going to be a fun series to watch. Well, UConn stamped their ticket following a big outing from their superstar Paige Becker. They're heading to the Final Four. We've got highlights from the matchup. That's coming your way next on CBS Sports HQ.